the mitochondria are the rock stars of the day. I have an image here of a mitochondrion, and there are a couple of key factors that I want you to notice. And I'm going to actually draw you another picture of it. I just think it's handy to have, like, a real picture to refer back to. So let's draw a picture of a single friendly mitochondrion and label the key parts. First of all, <clears throat> pen. Hello, pen. I knew it was around here somewhere. First of all, my mitochondria has two membranes. It has an outer membrane, which makes sense. This is it's, um, it's almost like the cell membrane of, that defines the space of the mitochondria. And then it has an inner membrane. And take a look at the inner mitochondrial membrane. It's not a lie. It really is super high surface area inside here. This is my inner mitochondrial membrane. And another key component of the mitochondrion is the fact that it has this uh, intermembrane space. And the reason why, this isn't an anatomy class, and the anatomy of the mitochondria is important because we're looking at its function. And, and we need to have a sense of how the anatomy is set up so that we can look at its function, so that we can understand. And this intermembrane space, I'm telling you right now, it's key to understanding the process of cellular respiration. Some other pieces of the mitochondrion, check it out. Like right here, here's my intermembrane space. This brown capsule is the outer membrane. This yellow, super uh, squiggly inner membrane is my inner membrane, mm. and the space in between them. And then you also have the mitochondrial matrix, and that's basically mitochondrial cytoplasm. It's the goop that mitochondria guts live inside. Mitochondria have their own DNA. They have their own ribosomes. They kind of do their own thing, which is really amazing. The process of cellular respiration, parts of it take place in the mitochondria. We're going to focus in on this, these two membranes and the space in between them when we look at the whole process. Mitochondria are important in the process of cellular respiration. There are also uh, molecules called electron carriers, and these guys are key players in this process. So we're going to take a second to identify what is this electron carrier you speak of, and then we'll move on to the actual process of cellular respiration.